Well, the bike's been to Croft and it did really well. One thing we do need to have a look at though, the front caliper on the passenger side is a bit sticky. Now this is the brake fluid reservoir and it's held in place by these two screws at the top. But because I'm gonna to have to refit the mirrors to put this back into road mode, what I think I'm gonna do is I'll take these bolts out and I'll pop this screen off and then I'll be able to get a proper screwdriver head with a ratchet on the back of it into this and apply some force to it without ruining the top of there. So with the screen removed now, we can get straight onto the top of that and not worry about this plastic being in the way. And we can pop them off nice and gentle. These are now moving nicely, which means I can take the lid off this, which means I can strip the caliper. And if I actually take it to pieces, and by that I mean take the pistons out and have to re-bleed it, it's not a problem because I can get brake fluid back into the system. If these were rounded off, I wouldn't be able to re-bleed them and it would have been an absolute nightmare. Next thing to do is to separate the caliper. Inside this piece here, there are two pistons because this is a twin piston caliper. And what I need to do is clean the corrosion off these pistons. Got this little cap in here, which has a large flat blade in. And that covers the end of the slide, which has an Allen key in. So all the bolts are loose on that caliper. Got some brake clean, and liberally spray that around the place as well. Um, this is gonna be a little bit of a swine to get off. So I'm gonna undo these bolts, slide it off that way. off you see the pads there behind the pads you can see the pistons and you can see how crawled they are so pull that slide pin in pads drop out see that isn't really the cleanest it could be as well so i think we'll clean that up whilst we're on so the pads out see how the shine on them indicates that they've not been hitting the disc quite square we we'll get those corroded pistons out a bit further or maybe it's even out completely and clean it up and it should be a world of difference this is the other part that we will clean up so they're all kind of mucky and greasy these are the slides that the pads the ends of the pads slide across so i think we'll give them a good old clean up as well i'm going to pull the brake lever gently not so they pop all the way out but i'm going to slide them out a bit and then we'll see what we can do about getting them cleaned up well that is interesting if you suppose hold it like that you can see one is sitting proud so when i pull the brake lever gently one of them moved and the other one didn't so what i've done is i've put the pads back in with no disc squeezed them until both of them came out just a few minutes with a bit of emery paper and that's how clean that comes up uh, you should be able to grab this with grips and rotate it. I'm going to get it, the whole thing, both sides, up to this nice shiny surface as the corrosion prevents this piston from going all the way back inside the caliper. Here you can see the difference between the one on the left, which has not yet been cleaned at all, and the one on the right, which has been attacked with some emery cloth and then a little steel brush on the end of a rotary tool. One important thing to say when you're doing this, there's a rubber seal in the caliper itself between the caliper and the pistons very important that you don't touch that with the emery cloth or the steel one or whatever you're using to clean it up because you don't want to damage the integrity of that seal that's what's keeping the brake fluid inside the caliper now that they're all cleaned up they slide very nicely and i'm able to push them back in just by hand it's an amazing difference we're going to clean up all of the areas like here where the pads run against the inside of the caliper i'm going to clean up the Carpet slides and then we'll get it back together and do the other side. As the spring's all cleaned up, one last thing I need to clean up is the actual slide pin. Now, I've got a little trick for these. So I've popped this in the end of the drill bit, a drill chuck. So when I turn the drill on, it'll spin. And then the other thing that I've got is a little bit of emery paper. So what I'm gonna do is wrap the emery paper around the end of this. And then when I run the drill, move this up and down and it'll clean up all the gunk from under here and what we end up with will be clean snowy turn
which will give a really nice surface for the pads to slide along. So all we've got to do now is throw it back together. There we go, all back together. Easy as that. So if you found this video useful, give it a little thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. We're always doing bits on cars and bikes. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.